Hi guys, in this video I want to very quickly show you an alternative way of importing data into R. So you have some data set and I'm going to focus on a CSV file format and you want to import it. Well I've already done one video where I show you how to import it through the working directory. Here I want to show you a way that's a little bit more um, interactive. So what do I mean? So we know to import a CSV file there is a function called read.csv. Okay, within those parentheses, you, there's a lot of arguments and options you have. But the main thing that you need to provide this argument is what file do you want me to import? Which CSV file do you want me to import? So there's a number of ways to tell this function which CSV file you want to import. And since I've shown you how to do it through the working directory, I want to show you this way, which is a much um, easier for a beginner okay so and but it's also a good alternative so there's this function called file dot choose and you open and close the parentheses so pay careful attention to the number of parentheses I have so this this function I just placed within the parentheses of read.csv is file dot choose open close parentheses what this is going to do if you hit enter is it's going to open up a dialog box where you're going to actually choose the file that you want to import. So let me just grab some random file, uh, data set that I have. So ABC, not sure exactly what this is. We'll open it up. Or uh, rather, let's go for something a little bit more um, credit. Okay, and voila, we have imported our credit data set. It's quite a big data set. All right, so File.choose, moral of today's story. But let me just show you, um, obviously, let me just remind you that you don't want to import data like this. You want to actually give the data a name or assign that data set to a symbol. So I'm going to use the assignment operator, which is this guy, and assign that data that I just imported. Rather than just get a data dump like I just did, I want to get it saved to this name, df. You could call it whatever you like. Okay, let's hit enter. Again, I'm going to get the dialog box. Again, I'm going to choose the credit data set uh, or whatever data you're trying to import. And nothing seems to happen. But what has happened is it's been imported and it's been recorded to the symbol DF. So if I type DF now, I get that same data set printout that I had before. But what's more interesting is, so this was the function to get it in. What's more interesting is now I can take a look at uh, DF. Uh, and it, which is the credit data set now imported into R and I could take a look at all the variables all the features right here I could take a look at how many rows there are how many examples there are 17 variables what all the names of the variables are a general summary of all of them with the structure function which I talk about in other videos and I can begin to do my analysis okay so this was mainly focusing on an alternative way of importing a CSV file or any f a data file for that matter just focused on CSV because that's the most common one that we use so again read.csv file dot choose open close close and before you do all that or make sure you save it to some name data one I'll just to show you that you don't have to use the, the letters DF any any name will do as long as there's no spaces or special punctuation in it okay so keep to that rule and this will open up the dialog box and you'll pick your data set and you'll be imported. So that's three times I repeated that. Hopefully it's stuck. All right. So I want to keep this short and sweet. Until next time, have a great day.